Hey guys, this is Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater. Today we're in Plano, Texas, sunny and beautiful, of course. And uh, we're gonna be mounting a TV, some bright veranda series on the patio here. So we're gonna be putting the TV on a full motion mount up here in the corner. And we're also gonna be connecting, as you see, we have some patio speakers to the TV. And if you're probably wondering how we're gonna do that, we're gonna run an HDMI from this TV to where the wiring is located in the family room and use a Sonos amp which we're gonna use the arc port on the TV back to the amp and get the audio out of the TV for that. We're gonna be putting power outlet on the ceiling, uh, relocating that from uh, another part of the home. And uh, I guess I can show you what we're using as products today. Follow me. So, um, we're using Sunbright Veranda. Zach already started the morning this. Uh, Put the mount back on, on the back. As you can see, it's gonna be a full motion mount. It just goes on there, locks in place. Gives you the maneuverability to bring it off the wall. You can watch it in the pool. And then uh, over here, you can see the wiring is terminated down here for the patio. And we're gonna be connecting the Sonos amp via, as you can see, the arc port on it, a left and a right. Well, we're gonna get started and I'll update you as we go. Oh, here we go guys, we have uh, Zach mounting the TV. Yeah, you uh, mounting the mount. I just got this mount bolted into the stud, which is behind this hardy board. Now the TV will be able to hang here in the corner securely, like that. Beautiful. and rotate towards the customer's desired viewing area. Next thing we're gonna do is use a cutout template and mark some holes. We're gonna be cutting in power as well as HDMI. So now what we're doing, we got our dang uh, boxes cut and uh, we drilled a hole through the beam into the attic and we're going to fish up our HDMI and our Romex for power. We'll see you on the other side. Alright, we're back on the other side. We got expert fishing and Zachary in the attic. Alright guys, and once you got your TV up there and you got your screws, your lock screws put in, you're going to want to connect your HDMI ports and plug in power. What's going on? So, a lot's going on. Zach has put in our pass-through outlet excellently, if I must wow. say myself, and a that. new power outlet. I did do a really nice job, I'd have to say. So, huh? the next step is to plug in your HDMI to the arc port. You see here, they have a very nice closed chassis on this TV okay. so that you know no uh, nothing in mother nature can get in here no pests no pests, pests. Mm -mm. Uh, no raccoons mm -mm. nothing of that sort so plug it in HDMI too of course arc you do that bing bang bow all right you take it through this nice sealed channel here close it up tight and uh, screw in your screw in your little hand screws here Make sure that that puppy's all sealed up until, you know, nothing can get in and nothing can get out. It's like a prison in there. finished up with this install. We got the TV mounted up on the wall and a swivel mount. The wires to the wall ran back to our Sonos amp in the living room. 
as well as we installed a power outlet and uh, got the wires all concealed behind. And the reason we ran the HDMI at the back to the Sonos amp was to get audio out of the HDMI so we can plug it into the Sonos and we can pipe it through these patio speakers so they can listen to it on the patio, obviously. This uh, is the Sunbright Veranda Series 4K television, 43 inches. If you didn't need something like this, we do ship it nationwide with free shipping and handling, as well as if you are in the Dallas area, we can also bring this out to your house and you know install it for you. But let us know how we did down below and leave a like, comment, subscribe. This was Grayson with the Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching.